All right, folks, and welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father, and this is hashtag AFL Chair Chat. <laughs> um, I'm going to be reviewing the Dockers Power game today. That's the Fremantle Dockers versus Port Adelaide Power. Um, first quarter uh, finished uh, 31-20 in favour of the Power. Um, players that stood out was uh, Brett Bewley. Um, material was good as well. Um, Ken Farrell, of course, he 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 is a good little player. He's he's a little tricky wee player as well. Uh, quite he buzzes about, but he's not an awfully big big guy. But he definitely stood out for me in that first quarter. He was one of the ones uh, that I enjoyed watching. I think he kicked two in that first quarter, if I can remember uh, correctly. Um, anyway, on at the second uh, quarter, Michael Walters. Boom! What a player! He is absolutely on sensational form in terms of goal kicking. Um, absolutely brilliant. When he picks up the ball, you, ex you expect things to happen in and around that pocket. He's a lot like Eddie Betts when it comes to that. In and around that pocket, making those little runs, finding that little bit of space. And you just know if he gets the ball, uh, whether it's a set kick or just a kick towards goal, He's got a good chance of scoring, such as the man, absolutely deadly, um, frightening in front of goal. He kicked three in the second quarter, and uh, another player that stood out in the second quarter was Jesse Hogan. Wow, what a game. He definitely stood up um, in that second quarter, made himself available, big target man, um, just got involved in everything, came short, went long. Just made himself available and a huge target man. Very influential in the second. Um, you had Travis Boak. This was fantastic. Had a brilliant duel when that fife all day today. Um, I'll get on to who I think um, was the best at the very end of the summary. Um, of the review, sorry. But absolutely. These, this was two that the commentators picked out. This is going to be a duel today. One... Um, there was divided opinion really amongst the commentators. Somebody favoured Boak, somebody favoured um, Fife. Um, but for me, knowing a little bit more about Fife, I thought, well, Fife was probably going to win that one. Anyway, um, I should have mentioned before the start of the match, I actually thought Fremantle um, going into it with two wins were probably edging it for me in terms of favourites for the game. So I actually had them tipped to win it. But Brandon Matera playing really well on the second as well. He stepped up. We went in at half time, 52 47 in favour of the Dockers. So still very, very tight. Five points in it. Um, boom. Into the third quarter. Things came alive. A lot more goals. Both sides stepping up in the third quarter. Um, players to mention Farrell again. Matlock, very, very good. Walters again kicking. Um, Hogan stepped up, made himself available. He's a big unit, and he, he, it's the way he sort of drags players away, but still manages to get the ball and make the marks and just gain some territory. Really stood out for me. There was a nice little kick through from um, Powell Pepper, straightforward enough goal, but he, it was the burst through, finding that little bit of space, followed it up and kicked it straight through the sticks, no problem. Matera with an absolutely outstanding goal as well um, from the pocket. Absolutely brilliant goal. Check it out. Um, and at the interval after the third, it was 78-79 in favour of the power. So very, very tight point in it. Now, into the business quarter of the game. This is where you have to keep going. The, the game is not over until that final siren goes and there's no more kick left. That's it. You keep playing, you step up, and that's exactly what the Dockers did and the power didn't. Um, it was a quarter completely dominated by the Dockers. Absolutely thoroughly deserved their win today. It finished 179 in favour of the Dockers. Um, well, right, let's get through a couple of things here. Um, again, Matera was very, very good. He missed his kick. Um, he made a, a, a kick long, um, which was gathered by Walters as well, who stepped in, kicked one through. Walters got six goals today, one behind, I think it was 25 plus disposals, maybe 26, 27 disposals. Um, I'm not too sure of the final number, but it was definitely 25 plus. Boak and Farrell, who got... Who, um, Boak and Farrell were probably the two players, sorry... For me, who stood out all day for um, 
Port Adelaide, um, probably the only two that really deserved a mention throughout the whole game. There wasn't a lot of players to pick from in the, the final quarter um, from the power, but they too probably deserve a mention overall for their performance throughout the game. So Boak and Farrell, the two key players for um, the power, but this was a quarter dominated by the um, Dockers. Um, players to mention, Darcy, final quarter, wow. I believe he's only a young guy, big, big guy. Even at one point, I think he looked hurt. But he carried on going. He was just literally getting involved in everything that moved. He was part of it. Um, whether it was disposals. Um, just breaking up play by interceptions. Just loads of little things. He was just doing it so well. Just keeping the power pinned back. Anytime they were trying to get up. He was really one of their main reasons why they couldn't. So a huge shout out to him for his performance in the final quarter. Fife was absolutely outstanding today. I think he was 35-40 disposals today involved in everything. So I think overall he edged it on Bulk. I'm not too sure what Bulk's um, final disposal count was. But given it in that final quarter... Um, Fife stepped up and both couldn't really do him too much influentially uh, Walters was my star man today he was definitely man of the match down to sheer kicking prowess is he the best right now in the Premiership? is he the best? there's a question for my subscribers and viewers he is absolutely on form he can't seem to miss right now 6 goals and 1 behind 25 odd for disposals as I said Um I've mentioned Darcy, Fife, Matera was good, Hogan was good, Hill was good. They just stepped up in that final quarter, thoroughly deserved it. That's three wins on the bounce now for the Dockers. Into the top eight, maybe, just maybe, could they do something this year? Could this be the Dockers' year? Don't rule them out, rule them out at your peril. They're a final quarter team. That's three times in a row now they've took it into the final quarter and stepped up and won the game in the final quarter. And that shows you their never-say-die attitude, um, no surrender-type attitude. They step up in the business end when they have to and they get the result. That's three in a row into the top eight, as I said. And I believe the final quarter dominance, if they can continue this form, they could be somebody that could be an outsider that could go and do something. But anyway, that was they finished 21 point win from um, being 79, 78 down the third. Um, and as I say, the power never even managed a single point in that final quarter. That shows you the sheer dominance by Frio. A thoroughly deserved one again. Three on the bounce. Congratulations to them. I think that makes them sixth in the ladder. Um, but man of the match performance, Walters. Congratulations to him, the Don Father has given you Man of the Match, which is probably one of the most prestigious awards in the game to date, is the Don Fathers Award. Don Low Medal coming at the end of the year based on what I've seen. Definitely Walters has got himself in there for his goal kicking. There's a few others that are in there. Fife, maybe again, is he stepping up now just when he needs to? Let's see. Anyway, absolutely outstanding game. Seen a little bit of... Um, I've seen about three, three quarters of the first game, which was St Kilda and the Suns. Uh, St Kilda winning um, narrowly towards the end. They stepped up final quarter and took the game. That's them beat Suns, I think, three times in a row now um, by a point, two points, and I think this one was by four points. So um, it's, going to the la it's going to the last kick every single time, um, and they're winning. So good game. It's very scrappy. And today's game... As well, I wanted to point out one thing about uh, the power and the Dockers. Um, absolutely scrappy, highly contested, very, they fought for every ball. As I said, hugely contested game and a great advert again for the sport. Absolutely outstanding. Pleasure to watch. Well done, Frio. Hard lines to the power. Um, they're playing some decent stuff, but the luck, Lady Luck just does not seem to be on their side right now. But Fremantle Dockers, you're earned. There's no luck uh, at all here. They have earned it today. Well done. Thanks very much for tuning in to uh, my review. Um, stay tuned for more reviews. I might do one tomorrow again and I'll have a full weekend roundup on Monday. AFL Car Chat, I'd imagine. 
Um, so stay tuned for that as well and indeed reactions of the AFL. Thanks again. I am the Dawn Father. This has been hashtag AFL Chair Chat. Get the hashtag trending, folks. <laughs> uh, it's an absolute pleasure to watch this sport and that's all I've got for you today. Good luck and goodbye.